Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Tammy and this is Tammy's Nail Techniques. Glad you all could join me today. In my last video, we did a removal of my current set. So today, while my nails are off, before I do another set, I thought it would be a good time to do cuticle prep. So as you can see, I have everything laid out in front of me, ready to get started. I have my Kiara Sky Unicorn e -file. I have my Young Nail Swipe, my Young Nails Cuticle Pusher and Pinching Tool, my Cuticle Bit, I do not know where I got this from, unfortunately. If I remember, I'll link it in the description if I can figure out how to do that. Still very new at this. I have my exfoliating ball bit. I have my Kiara Sky Mandrel with the lovely Swarovski Crystal fitted with a 180 Zebra Sandy Man. And I have my manicure brush. Okay, so the first thing you want to do always is make sure you start with clean, dry hands. I'm going to push my cuticles back gently. A little piece of food on there. So we're just going to go through and push the cuticles back. Now, one of the things that I do, um, when I get in the shower, um, before I get out, while I'm drying off, while your nails are still damp, I just take and loosely push back my cuticles, okay? And, you know, that way they're already soft um, and easier to push back. And I also do that with my toes as well. Just take your towel when you're drying off and push those cuticles back and it helps remove some of that skin that grows up on your nail plates. Okay, so I push these cuticles back and you definitely do not want to do this aggressively. Okay, this is in real time because uh, I don't know how to speed the videos up yet. I'm working on it. But you definitely don't want to hold your cuticle pusher Let me see. like this. Let me see if I can get that angle. Alright, so if I have my nail like this, you don't want to dig into the cuticle like this. Okay? Because that's going to cause damage and it's going to hurt. What you want to do is have it at this angle, which Hopefully you can see, okay, sort of like a 45 degree angle, you just gently, gently, gently want to push back those cuticles, don't want to be aggressive, and I'm frame again, this is, I am doing this with my non-dominant hand, so we'll see how it goes. It's all a learning curve, okay? And as you can see, when I push back the cuticles on my middle finger on my right hand, there's quite a bit that gets exposed. I did have a little bit of lifting in some places, very minimal. Um, I didn't bother to soak off anything. Um, the little remnants of the acrylic that were left there. I may do that in the next video before I do reapplication. Oops. Okay, so once you push all those back, okay, we're gonna take our Kira Sky Unicorn e file, which I'm in love with, by the way, and we're gonna fit it with our cuticle bit. 
Okay. I'm in forward position. And I'm going to set my A file to about 4,000 RPMs. Okay. Actually, excuse me. Need to be in reverse position because I'm doing my non dominant hand first. So, still, we're in the reverse at about 4,000 RPMs. Okay, for this step. Now, you do not want to be aggressive. Again, you want to start with your side walls. Come around. Can you see? Okay, very gently. And you want to keep this cuticle bit as parallel to your natural nail as you possibly can. You don't want to push down hard because, I mean, if you do it lightly, that's fine. Um, your client won't feel anything. But if you push down, you could make rings of fire. You could make some heat spikes, and that would be very unpleasant. Okay, so just keep it as parallel as you possibly can. Okay, and then move on to the next nail. Do the same thing. I'm going to start on the side wall over here. I'm going to come around. Keeping it as parallel as I possibly can. And we're just making sure that we are removing the pterygium and the dead skin that grows up on the nail plate. As you can see, hopefully, okay, um, the white tissue is the non-living skin. That's what we're trying to remove, okay? You don't want to um, make anyone bleed or, you know, if you're cleaning off the tissue and it's red or it hurts or whatever chances are, um, that's still living tissue. So you want to be really careful. Again, we're not being aggressive. This is in real time. Move on to your next one. And it shouldn't take you a humongous amount of time. I mean, it just unless well, somebody has terrible, terrible cuticle. You know, which I have a couple of clients that take more cuticle work than others. But that's okay. We all have different nails. We all have different nail needs. And it's always beneficial to know different ways to work on them, depending on what your client needs are. Just sort of like when you're driving, it's always better to know multiple ways to get somewhere in case, you know, there's an accident or something like that. So now that we're finished with that hand, I'm going to go back to my right hand, thank goodness. I'm going to switch my e-file to the forward position, and I'm going to go back to 4,000 RPMs, okay? I'm going to start on the right side this time. Maybe it's the left, depending on how you look at it. The way I'm looking at it right now, it's the right side. Okay? And you're going to keep your bit as parallel as you can. And you're going to work around. Paying close attention, in my particular case, to the very corners of the thumbnail. Okay. This index finger always has a, um, I have a, a lot of um, cuticle that collects here, plus a very high 
hypernychium on my index finger and why it's not uncommon a lot of people do um, and in another video I'll show you how to compensate for that when you're fitting your forms um, it can come into play you know especially when you're fitting forms not so much when you're doing tips but when you're fitting forms for sculpting nails you have to know how to adjust your form to fit each client's nail shape and their particular circumstances, which is not always easy. Okay, so see right here, I've got an extra lot of just a dead, dried up cuticle. Okay. Some more work on the side of that pinky nail. Oh, I got it better than I did. But as long as we get it before we do another set, we'll be good. I have my first client this evening of 2022. Um, I had posted some pictures on Instagram of some hand painted. Grinch Nails, where I did Grinch and Cindy Lou and Max won her for the holidays. Now, now that we're finished with the cuticle bit, okay, we're going to go to our ball bit. I'm going to put it in reverse again. Now, on the ball bit, sometimes this sort of takes the place of, um, trimming your cuticles or cutting, nipping your, cu your cuticles with the cuticle nippers. I only like to do that in extreme cases where I can't get off the dead tissue with the ball bit, okay, or the sanding band. So, but that's your preference. Check your state guidelines and, you know, if you're allowed to do that, then go right ahead. Um, Anyway, we're going to start in reverse, just like we did with the other bit. And this time, I'm going to about 5,000 RPMs. Okay? And with this bit, again, you want to stay as parallel. Excuse me, I have hiccups. As possible. And you just want to come around. Again, the sides, see how much more it's taken off? And kind of pushing that cuticle back all at the same time, okay? Move on to your next finger. Again, same thing with this bit. You don't want to be aggressive. You do not want to apply too much pressure. Hopefully you can still see. I'm just trying to gently exfoliate the cuticle and the sidewalls. Now is a good time to, um, if they have, you know, little calluses at the ends of their nails, sometimes you'll get little calluses, you know, right at the edge of your nails and things. You can remove those um, with this bit as well. And always incline your clients to use cuticle oil at least twice a day. More if they um, work somewhere or keep their hands in a lot of water or, you know, cleaning fluid, anything like that, chemicals. Um, always, always remind them to use their cuticle oil. It is very important. I always tell my clients to keep one by the bedside table and when you get out of the shower at night before you go to bed or whatever your routine is, put it on right before you go to bed. And then right after you take your shower or whatever your routine is in the morning, put it on. I always carry some in my purse as well. Okay, so now that we're finished with that bit, we're going to 
fit our Kiara Scott e-file with our mandrel and our 180 sanding band. And guess what? I forgot to do the other hand with the ball bit. I'll get it. Alright, so we're still in reverse. And I am still at about 4,000 RPMs. Okay? Now, when you do this, again, keeping your bit parallel is key. Okay, because this will definitely cause rings of fire if you dig into the nail plate. Okay, so all we're doing is just gently, gently removing shine from the nail, the natural nail. You do not want to apply any pressure, and see, I still have um, a little bit of product on my nail, so you're gonna see a little bit more dust flying than normal because of that okay i'm gonna move on to the next finger Just like you're tickling. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Okay? No shine. You're not trying to file the nail plate down. You're not trying to remove any layers. You are simply trying to remove the shine from the natural nail. Okay? some leftover products so it's going to be a little bit more dust flying than you would normally get as gently as you can okay now because i forgot to do the ball bit on the left hand I'm going to do that now off camera and then I will be back and show you the rest. Okay? Hang in there. <laughs> 